How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today I've got a bit of a simple mission to be honest. I'm back on the first map uh, called Crossroads and uh, yeah it's just a mission called Photo Shoot. so you haven't really got to do a lot just kind of drive around um, pass through four different locations although the other day to be honest one of the locations was already lit up on my map so I drove through it and it's kind of missing now uh, so the first one's at the top corner, the second one's there, the third one is there, but again, that's the one I drove through just as I was driving along the road. I thought it was a mission to collect, so as I drove through the square it just vanished. And then the last one is next to that lake. The only reason in the end I picked like a bit of a simple mission really was, uh, well, one, Happy Halloween. <laughs> it was Halloween, so I fancied doing a drive at night, as I never really do, or pretty damn rare, uh, on this game when I'm making a video. And yeah, I, as I was driving at night, I didn't really want to do a mission that's like too crazy because again I, mean, I actually like driving around at night it's not that I particularly dislike it or anything but as far as making videos goes it's just better like in the day you can sort of see it more clearly and what's going on and everything but yeah for this one uh, I thought I'd bring the F750 out as I don't use it all that often and someone said can I fit a loaf on the roof <laughs> of course I can he's a goddamn professional but I did know when I was driving along now, I already know this road outside the garage. <laughs> it's not going to go too well. It's not going to be too long before I tip over. But you see, I'm start tipping, the loaf bails off, and then it kind of shifts the weight and I don't tip. Again, it's got damn horse. Get yourself a loaf. The game still can't figure out how to do winch points, how to prioritise them. I'll try and winch everything except the vehicle you're with. And yeah, overall, it's been a little while since I've driven the uh, F750. I still do like it quite a lot. The only thing, mainly, I'd change if I could with this vehicle is dial up, like, I don't know if it's like the top end or the power a little bit. It's odd, it's one of those vehicles that, even though they've put, like, eventually they added an upgraded engine, and it helped a little bit, but yeah, it just needs one more little, little boost, I reckon. But one thing I've always liked about it, it's a very nice stable vehicle really. Um, the steering is one of the nicest steering in the game. And obviously uh, all the amount of attachments and stuff you can have, uh, it holds quite a lot of repair points, fuel, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, as a bonus, you can still get a goddamn horse on there. Which is now even more repair points I suppose. And yeah, you can get a loaf on anything. If it can't fit a loaf on, is it even worth driving? Probably not in my book. But yeah, overall, I do like this vehicle, and you can, I believe you can put a crane on the back. Uh, I'm sure, yeah, and you can get a saddle and stuff. It's got quite a few options, that's one thing I do like about it, you can kind of mix and match it. And uh, yeah, just as a kind of default, I just put everything on it, every repair add-on thing you can get. And it's got like a roll cage going over it as well where you can fit more on, so... That's what I think they need to do Like with a loaf, though. There's a, quite a few vehicles in this game. The ones that came out post the original games, you got like the season 1 and season 2 stuff, they've kind of got used to the idea of you get more trucks now that have got a roof rack on them of some kind and yeah, they've got sort of different add-ons on that. Whereas a lot of the like original vehicles in the game, such as the Loaf for example, um, yeah, there's a few ways that they could kind of up it a little bit. A bit more supplies. But again, he is packing major roof racks so I can't really complain, he's got like double the, double the points of uh, a lot of vehicles in the game. But yeah, you can see now with the F750, like this is the weird thing, it kind of, it keeps a nice pace, well, torque-wise and that, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It sort of handles a bit different to how most vehicles do. Some of them even sort of feel underpowered and they kind of limp their way across the map all the time. Some, I don't know if I go as far as to say overpowered, but some of the most powerful vehicles in the game, once you drop it in high range and all that, they kind of take off and go hell for leather until you smash your way up on the, uh, the countryside. This one, it's just odd. It sort of feels like the equivalent of a powerful vehicle, but you've only got it on like half throttle. So it kind of keeps ticking and going along, but it's there's always something feels like you're a couple miles an hour kind of off where you'd want to be. But yeah, it's a strange one, because then when you get to like a rough bit of terrain, you'd expect it to throw in the towel pretty quickly, but then it just never quite does. For the most part, anyway, obviously you can get it stuck, as you can with any vehicle, but yeah, just when you get like to an awkward bit, you keep flooring it, and it feels like it's a second away from uh, giving up and getting stuck, but then it, it just about keeps going. 
And even though the loaf did fall off the roof, I had to keep bringing them with me, just in case if I tipped over or anything. Especially at night. One of the things when I was driving around at night as well, I was trying to see if there's if I could notice like any eyes in the trees and stuff, because it was back on Michigan, I think it was, on Black River. You could definitely as you'd look around and like you'd drive past trees at night. After your headlights kind of went past, you could see little uh, like eyes in the trees and that where there's supposed to be animals. I've never seen anything like that since though, so they didn't seem to have followed that idea on. But yeah, as it was Halloween, I've not really even noticed that it's Halloween. Anything I've noticed because the clocks went back yesterday. It messed me up loads. I woke up really early today, and uh, yeah, just when I was thinking like, oh, it's nearly midnight. It's back. Even though it's only an hour, it went back. <laughs> it feels like it's completely messed up my time. So. I didn't feel that great today, so I didn't really get stuck into like a particularly big mission anyway. But yeah, I'm not any trick or treaters or anything. One of the uh, perks of living right on the edge of the village. <laughs> no one could be bothered to walk this far to attempt knocking on my door. Maybe they did years ago when I first moved here, but I won't be answering that shit. <laughs> Even if there is a bunch of eight year olds outside and it was daylight, like hell no. Start boiling the kettle. I only just realised now, I was towing the goddamn horse. He didn't even have his engine on. I don't give him any difference either. As I've said before, he's weightless. He only weighs something when you need him to. But yeah, that's another kind of thing with this vehicle. It's like the pace of it is towing the loaf, whether it's like engine on or off. It just never quite gets up to that like high range speed. I'll just edit this bit out. There's a mission up there. I just wanted to... Uh, grab it quickly but I kind of forgot that I was in the middle of making some footage. <laughs> Again, it's probably because I'm driving around at night and I just rarely, if ever, do night videos. I'm trying to think of anything spooky. I'll tell you, I did, like, something reminded me of it the other day, I suppose, as it was coming at Halloween. A year or two ago I was saying about, like, creepy stories that happened to me and, um, yeah, I said about, like, when I was a kid staying at uh, my grandparents I seen like a, this fucking scary ghost thing come through the wall um, well as I suppose it was a little while ago for those of you that are new um, my mum was in hospital at the time I was about I don't know seven or eight um, yeah my mum my had E. coli poisoning so I had to go and stay at my grandparents which was my dad's parents and my granddad was alright but my grandma was a bit of a fucking bitch to be honest um, but yeah we had to go and stay there I didn't particularly want to and uh, yeah, for context, the house was like hundreds of years old, and they used to do the public hangings there um, back in the day when, like, hanging was legal and all that sort of stuff. It was a pretty freaky old house anyway. But I slept in the back, um, one of the back bedrooms, and yeah, I woke up one day, and it's one of them. Where, I don't know, like I seen basically this fucking bright yellow with like a purple outline or something like scary looking ghost person with like the jaw hanging off of them and all sorts come out the wall walk across like the bottom of my bed and then go through the other wall and it was one of them where obviously it scared the shit out of me when I was a little kid but you know it's one of them where adults are kind of saying oh yeah you're just a kid you had a bad dream all that sort of stuff so I sort of brushed it off and it is what it is and that and uh, my sister was in the room as well she's a few years younger than me so she was yeah like five years old or whatever um, and then that was that, but a year or two ago when I made the, uh, the Halloween video and I mentioned it, my mum, she doesn't really watch the videos, but when she goes out in the morning, uh, she puts my videos on because she's got some pet dogs, and they know my voice and that, so it was one of them. Originally when I started the channel, she was kind of putting them on to bump up the watch time a bit, <laughs> but yeah, as it went on, it sort of didn't really matter as much, but she was just leaving it on for like the dogs to listen so they could hear me. And then... Um, at one point when she got home, I was just happened to be when I was mentioning like that ghost thing. And then uh, later, or whatever in the week, uh, my sister went round there for when she was on like, a lunch break, she went round for a coffee and that. And my mum mentioned to her saying, oh yeah, I was saying about that um, when we stayed at my grandparents' house. And I seen a, yeah, like a ghost thing go through the wall. And um, my sister apparently said she's seen it too, and I've never spoke to her the entire time because I was a little kid at the time I didn't want to freak her out I kind of didn't it was one of them you know where like if I told her and all that it will just kind of go back and forth where it'll uh, we'll just wind ourselves up into be even more scared and because our grandma was a bit of a bitch <laughs> it's not like she would have said oh yeah you don't have to sleep in that room it had just been one of them like shut up 
kids, go to your room. And uh, yeah, so I never ever mentioned anything to her. And it was just funny when uh, my mum said to her, oh yeah, I'd, like, I mentioned it on YouTube. Uh, yeah, my sister said she woke up as well, probably after I fucking shit myself. And uh, she, she said she's seen something too, but then she just put her head back under the covers and never said anything for... Uh, she's about 30 now, so you're talking like 25 years ago this happened. And yeah, I never realised, but she apparently said she's seen the same thing. And she described the same thing as well. She said like bright yellow with a purple outline and it looked pretty freaky and she just like, yeah, dived back under the covers and ignored it. So, pretty random. And then tonight as well, I was... um making something to eat early. I was just feeding the cat so I was like out in the hallway. He has his plate in the hallway because, I don't know, <laughs> he's an awkward sod. He needs a line of sight where he can eat and still see into the kitchen, into the living room, down the stairs, into the bathroom, all sorts. Otherwise he's a bit weird and he just doesn't really eat his dinner as much. Um, but yeah, while I was in the hallway, there was, it, like in the living room I'm in now, there was a plate that just sounded like it smacked on the ground pretty hard. But there's, there is a plate down near me from when I was eating, but it wasn't on anything, it wasn't, it's not fell off anything. And even when it did the noise, my uh, my cat did like a bit of a meow and ran in it, and he normally doesn't pay attention to jack shit, like he'll ignore, he could set a firework off in here. And he, especially when I'm in the middle of getting him dinner, and he's like, cat yogurt treats and all that. But yeah, he come running in and was looking around a bit confused as well, and for the, I'm not really freaked out about it, and I was like, whatever, that it's Halloween and that, it's just coincidence, but... It's honestly bothering the shit out of me, is it? I can't figure out what the hell it could have been. It's like a plate on the floor, but it's like hardwood flooring. <laughs> yeah, it is. Calm yourselves down. Um, yeah, but it's not on anything. Like I say, it didn't fall off anything. It's as if, like, someone stood on the plate and then it kind of lifted up on one end and just slammed back down. It was pretty loud at sort of three in the morning. But, yeah, that was like something that was just a bit freaky that happened tonight. Well, again, not freaky. I just don't know what the hell it was. Well, I know it was a plate, because I know the noise, but... I don't know how the hell it did it. See, you see there going through, like, that mud? It looks like you're literally a second off, and it's just going to start wheel spinning by itself and uh, not keep going. But for the most part, it's pretty rare we don't actually get this vehicle stuck. And is it now when I'm driving along? One of these rocks here deletes the crap out of me. As I said with this mission, it's, I don't know, it, not that I dislike the mission. I changed it to daytime, by the way, just so I could see the vehicle for a little bit, because I didn't realise this F750's got a unique paint job, which doesn't look too bad. That's why I got a yeah, pink loaf, going for a bit of colour-coded action. Um, yeah, as I said, this is a bit of a kind of boring mission in a way, there's not really a hell of a lot going on, but, like I said, Halloween night driving, didn't really want to... Uh, attempt too much of a juicy mission. Yeah, you see there? Hit that rock. I don't know what's going on. It's like a bit of an awkward hitbox. Even took a bit of a hit on me loaf. He's a goddamn horse. Thankfully, though, this thing is, if nothing else, absolutely covered in repair points. Yeah, that mission done, again, it's just, it's one of them. I'm going to make a video on it at some point, or I'm just going to complete the mission and not make a video, so I thought I may as well. And then, yeah, I was kind of a bit disappointed that I hadn't rolled at any point so, drove over that rock, sent in the loaf, I was just doing doing a few uh, circles there, cut it out, <laughs> bit of loaf drifting action. He's goddamn professional. Job's a good one, he can flip the F750, no problems. And then I couldn't be bothered getting like actually back on the top because I could do with being near a trees to use the winch points and that, but if you reverse into stuff with a loaf, see, in fact this is perfect proof. He reversed up the side of the F750 when I wanted to, but then now I wanted to see if I could tip the F750 and credit where it's due to the loaf. Considering his back end's up in the air and he only has two wheels on the floor, he's still got enough oomph to uh, flip it. So, yeah, <laughs> get yourself a loaf, that's what we learned from this video. But yeah, that's about it today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my Patreon members. Get yourself a loaf because he is a goddamn professional, and I'll be back soon.